Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent Entry music. news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Not news, but an op-ed. Last week, tickets went on sale for the Concert for Carolina Benefit Show to aid Hurricane Helene relief efforts, which is being organized by Luke Holmes and Eric Church. It's slated for Saturday, October 26th at Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. Obviously, demand for the show was extremely high, and the tickets sold out in a matter of hours. But, as it goes with anything that has to do with Ticketmaster these days, things didn't exactly go smoothly. Many fans noticed in the process of buying tickets that the price they selected on the online chart didn't match by the time they made it to the uh, cart to check out. A lot of fans were upset to find out that what they called dynamic pricing had been enabled, meaning the ticket prices would change depending on demand on the site at the time you're buying. Like I said, demand was incredibly high. So you can imagine where this is going. Now, a spokesperson for Ticketmaster said that the company, quote, does not set prices and does not have algorithms that change prices. Okay, sure. But isn't dynamic pricing literally an algorithm that changes prices? Usually it's only used for a smaller percentage of the total tickets available. On the one hand, I get that Luke and Eric want to raise as much money for hurricane victims as possible. I do too. But at the same time, there's something a little weird to me about using dynamic pricing for something like this. Especially when they had set prices ahead of the on sale that people were aware of and prepared for. So I completely understand why people are upset by what sort of feels like a bait and switch. The box office capped the best seats at $500. But upon checkout, people found those prices had jumped to over 1000 and in some cases hit $2,000. Tickets originally priced at $65 jumped to 195 at checkout. And a lot of this money goes to Ticketmaster fees which were supposed to be waived due to the nature of this concert. It's a known fact that artists have the choice of opting out of dynamic pricing with Ticketmaster. So there's really no arguing that part. Now, church and tomes have yet to speak out on the ticket situation, and probably won't. I mean, there's really nothing that can be done about it now because the concert is already sold out. So, hopefully, most people that wanted tickets were able to get them at a decent price. Fingers crossed. Let's give Eric Church a spin, huh?